Okay, I'm on part two now, and I just talked about putting a blend on there, a uh, blend on your model so you can actually see any, you know, small modeling mistakes that you might have made. Okay, now one thing we got to do is we got to have to constrain the corner. And what I'm doing here is smooth preview is three, um, going back to your regular modeling preview is one, is the one button. So all we have to do is insert an edge loop, so we have edges going around the edge where these uh, uh, the two objects are, are uh, attached together. So let's go to Edit Mesh and Insert Polygon Tool. And we'll insert an edge loop there. And in order to you know, constrain the edge, we have to put an edge loop here, edge loop here, edge loop here, and an edge loop here. Now basically the reason you're doing this is you're telling Maya to only interpolate so far. Um, because there's no geometry telling Maya the original way we had it with that like huge curve um, that went from the cylinder to the plane there's no information there no geometry there telling Maya to say hey you can only you know um, curve so far or, or uh, uh, blend so far so we're adding geometry and it's as we you know, call it constraining the corners or constraining edges telling Maya you can only uh, interpolate so far so now when we do a smooth preview, you'll see we have a nice, nice tight curve in our uh, uh, the welding area between our, our, our um, cylinder and our plane. Now this is totally awesome. This looks really nice, but uh, the problem is uh, the way we did it is now that we have all this extra unwanted geometry, these edges going out which if you're doing a model those edges are going to go their edge loops are going to go all the way around the model and you have this you know extra edges extra vertices you've got to line them up you've got to you know move them and and you know you're a modeler you know what I'm talking about so it'll it'll get pretty messy if you if you do it this way this is just the quick and dirty um, <clears throat> so what we want to do is we actually want to create a little bubble of geometry around our cylinder which will uh, contain uh, the area in which you're going to be welding your cylinder and your plane together. At the same time, it will uh, keep the outside geometry clean and there will be no interference between um, detailing your cylinder and uh, um, uh, detailing your uh, polygon plane. So I'll show you what I mean by that and I'm too lazy to start over so I'm just going to undo, 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 undo. Come on. Almost there. Ah. Okay, I'm going to have to make another plane. I wasn't able to undo far enough. So let's make another polygon plane. And I'm hoping I can keep this under 20 minutes now, but we'll see. So subdivisions 3 by 3 And let's move this up just a hair so we get out of the way of the grid. Okay, so how we create this little bubble of geometry around our cylinder. It's really easy. All you have to do is go to your polygon face, um, select the faces, grab the uh, uh, center face, and all you have to do, do is go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and hit the R key for Scale, and grab the yellow button, which is a word, World Scale tool, and just scale in a bit. And there you go. We have our little bubble of geometry <coughs> that's going to contain our cylinder. Um, Okay, so let's go to our top view, and our cylinder is a little, little big, so let's select our cylinder, and I'm just going to scale, it's not, okay, that's odd, so we're going to scale our cylinder, and just a teeny tiny bit, there we go, so our cylinder remains on the inside of that square. And my Maya is doing something really weird. I have no idea what it's doing. Anyway, um, so at this point, we have to do exactly the same thing we did before, is we have to put an edge loop in here to create two extra vertices on each side of the cylinder, which will line up with these uh, uh, two edges here. So, yeah, stay in the top view. There we go. And edit mesh, insert edge loop. Insert the edge loop there. And now again, we can go ahead and select polygon 
face, select the faces, and the two inside faces, just select those guys there. Delete. And select the vertices. And let's move the cylinder down just a tad bit. And if you're wondering why why I'm pulling up menus and I'm doing some really odd stuff, in, in, in school we use crap and tosh computers. So when I come home from school and I hop on my PC, I'm kind of screwed up for about a half hour until I get readjusted to, to my to my wonderful PC. So okay, so now I got that moved down. Let's take the vertices and vertex snap. So again holding down the V key and snapping the vertex to the cylinder. There we go. Okay, and we can just select the two objects, and we're going to edit mesh combine, uh, mesh combine, edit mesh, merge, and now we got our two objects, and we have a little bubble of geometry around around our cylinder. So when we edit mesh, insert edge loops to constrain your uh, uh, edges there. So let's do let's select real quick so you can see. That's what it looks like on a smooth preview. So I hit one again and go to edit mesh, insert edge loop. So when we insert edge loops to constrain the edges, as you notice, you only need one edge loop instead of, I think it was uh, four or five before, and put one here. And so when we insert the edge loop on the inside, it adds geometry only on the inside around the cylinder. It does not add any more uh, edge loops or geometry on the outside. So even if you want, to add uh, an insert an edge loop around, it's not going to interfere with the cylinder. The only time it will is if you go in this center box here, but you can live with that. I'm sure you can. So let's go back. Okay, and if you're anal retentive like I am, uh, you might want to put an extra edge loop in here to keep it fairly smooth um, or if you're even a more a more anal retentive than I am well actually I'm, I'm anal retentive enough to do this is just take the vert vertices and just the inside ones anyway and just try and line them up so they're nice and neat Just move them around a little bit. That'll work. So, there you go. Um, now, another thing that I didn't realize a lot of people don't know how to do is actually removing an object from another object. Because um, there's so many things in Maya that you can do that you can't remember all of it and no one can teach all of it. So to actually, let's. I'm going to remove this cylinder from the plane. And how you do that is just select face, and I'm going to go to my side view, and I'm just going to select all the faces that I want to remove um, of the cylinder. So I'm going to select those guys here. That uh, looks good. And I'm going to go to Mesh, Extract. That's it. See, when you select the cylinder there, it's one separate piece from uh, your plane. And the thing is, it does not create, um, okay, there's some tool I can't remember. It, um, it does not create a duplicate piece. Uh, it just takes the geometry and completely separates it. It does not create a duplicate piece that is automatically separated and leaves the original. Um, so, but the technique I just showed you um, with putting a cylinder, um, attaching a cylinder to a polygon plane is 